welcome back to our channel, you guys. Hey, Floss Tube. Welcome to Snug Harbor Crafts. I'm Debbie. And I'm Debbie's daughter, Kefren. And we are excited to welcome you to our first Floss Tube. The first official Floss Tube. Yes, we've done some other ones, but Floss Tube is really... I've so enjoyed the ones that I have watched that I had to do floss too. She had to join the club. So this is my daughter who does a cross stitch. Okay. I've cross stitched before though. Have you? Okay. Oh, yes, yes, I did. Have. That's true. That's true. That's true. I used to do like little things. Yes, that's true. So uh, Pam and Steph, she's not like Steph. She doesn't cross stitch as much Steph. And, and Priscilla, Priscilla and Chelsea. Chelsea. No, nope. but I do watch them and I'm, I'm getting more and more tempted to start cross yeah we need to start on a simple project chelsea said let's you know if you start i like start on something simple and we'll have to get something for her. maybe about her dog she might oh, want to do something that would be okay. good all right so that's an idea all right so we thought we'd start our floss tube a couple of other floss tubers have started with a bunch of questions so you can kind of get to know us a little better we'll just go through them really fast and then we should probably talk more about what we're wearing. Oh, let's do that. Yes, yes, yes. The the one question that is asked is, is what are some of your other hobbies besides stitching? I think it's obvious that you can see we are huge Disney fans, okay? I, I have taught my children to be huge Disney fans. And if you ever want to go to Disneyland, you really shouldn't go without, without us. Without us. We make it... Magical. Magical. It's honestly... Honestly, amazing people. People, I, Kefren just took two people for the first time, and they were loved blown away. it. They loved it. So we we love our Disney. We and love so, it. And so I'm wearing the Disney World rose gold jersey, and I have on the Disneyland rose gold jersey. And of course, I had I forgot to bring my ears. I'm a terrible person. The rose gold ears, yeah. which we looked far and wide for. And I was there when Disneyland just released the rose gold churros. And let me tell you, they were disgusting. <laughs> so we're willing to tell you when things aren't great at Disney. Yeah. We're willing to. I love churros. I had five churros that day, only one rose gold one, and I didn't. Eat, I could only have two bites of it, and I, I had to throw it away. It was kind of a strawberry kind of. It was the most disgusting thing I've ever had. It, it tasted like artificial, disgusting flavor. Okay, and she's very. She doesn't eat a lot of things, so it must have been pretty disgusting. It was bad. She's pretty picky. So, but maybe some of you will like it. You'll have to let us know in the comments. Yes, okay, all right. So should we do the questions? Yeah, so let's do okay. the questions. Oh, and also we're gonna be showing, I'm, I'm a cross stitcher, I love it, but we do, I do a lot of crafts. I use the Cricut Maker, and so we're gonna throw some of those in as well. Yeah. Okay, where do we live? We both live in Utah. Um, not too far apart from each other, and uh, today it is snowing hard. Just so you know, okay? What is it? It's March, March twenty fifth, uh huh, and it's snowing. But in January we didn't get any snow, so we knew this would happen. And we live north of Salt Lake. Yeah, just we a tiny bit, just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. All right. How long have you been stitching? I've been stitching since I was about eight years old, and I'm fifty nine now. Did your mom introduce it to you? You know, I can't remember if my mom did or. Um, I, I, we went to a place, we went to a thing called Cousins Club, okay? <laughs> I was the youngest in the family, so I'd go to this place with my mom. Oh, it was all of her cousins. She had a huge family. All of her cousins would get together and stitch, and her cousin introduced me to oh. Needlepoint. Interesting. And I loved Needlepoint. I still do Needlepoint to this day. In fact, I'll have to show you some. They're very great. So anyway... Um, I was very young, and my grandmother, I have to give a shout out to my grandmother, who was so sweet. My grandma on my father's side always knitted, always crocheted. She was a source. She always had something in her hands, and she taught me how to knit and crochet. I'm not a great knitter, but I do still love to crochet. So I, I've been cross-stitching. Did she not cross-stitch, though? She did not cross-stitch, no. She was more of a sewer on the sewing machine. Mm, yes. So I've, I've been cross-stitching for a long time. What are my three favorite hobbies other than cross-stitching? Um, I would have to say Disney, um, and I would have to say reading, uh, crafts, doing crafts. Yep, those are my um, three hobbies. Those would be Do take on mine. Yes, I would love to know yours. <laughs> I'm curious. Um, my three hobbies are traveling. Oh, true, true. Um, eating food. Okay. Is that a hobby? <laughs> I'm sure it can be. 
And what's the third hobby? I play the harp, but I, oh, uh, yeah. it's, I don't know if we'd call it a hobby right now. Well, it's a, but it is a, it's been a lifelong pursuit. So she is it a has. harpist. If anybody needs a harpist out there. Yeah, I'm your girl. Yep, there she is. Okay. <laughs> I have, um, I altogether had three children. I have two older sons and my daughter. The princess. The princess, yeah. And we have, I, we actually have two grandsons. And uh, they're great. We love them. And they are 11 and 7. Uh, okay, favorite movie, Sabrina. I think it's my, my favorite movie, too. Oh, just The one it. with Harrison Ford. Yeah, I, I like the old one, too. I've but, never but, even seen the old one. Oh, you need to see it. But it's a great, but such a great movie. It's just, it's I don't know. It's so amazing. It's magical. The music. That's true. I mean, oh, it gets me every time. Stephen we, hates it. We love the holiday as well. Oh, we love the holiday. I also love the proposal. And we love, well, we can't get going on this. My okay. best friend's wedding. Oh, gosh. We can <laughs> quote it. It's disgusting. We can quote it. It's okay. so good. All right. Favorite book. This is a toughie for me. I should probably, it says, what do I do for a living? I'm a librarian. I'm an elementary school librarian Monday through Friday. I teach kindergarten through sixth grade. I teach six classes a day. So a book for me to choose is like choosing my favorite child. So I'm going to tell you three. My first one was A Wrinkle in Time. And I know it's really popular right now. I read it when I was 12 and it changed my life. Okay, I don't know what it was. She's already seen. Did you like the movie? I love the movie. It's completely. It's a lot different than the book, but it's very well done. And they they talk about topics that are topical now that are are a burden to people yeah. and and to kids and stuff. So I haven't it's seen it yet. It's excellent. But I do so, love Oprah. Yes, and so A Wrinkle in Time when I was 12 honestly changed my life. And then when I was in college, I mean I've read a million books, right? But I'm an English major, so. Uh, Victor Frankl, um, Man's Search for Meaning, totally changed my life as well. I went to uh, Germany, too much information. I went to Germany when I was 12 and went to Dachau. And then after having read that book when I was older, it really, um, I don't know. Uh, it, it's Wait, a, so you hadn't read the book when you went to Germany? No, no, no. Mm -mm. Yeah. So big, big impact on my life. And then the book that you should read now, and it's a, it's a young adult book, but honestly, you all would love it, is called The War That Saved My Life. And it's about the Second World War and a young girl who's living in London and uh, has to go out to the country because, you know, they're going to bomb London but she has a club foot and her mother is not going to allow her to go. Mm. It's, it's, it's an excellent, and now they've just come out with a sequel, uh, the, war I the War I Finally Won. It's, they, they're excellent. Maybe uh, I'll read it. It's, you would like it. It's very, very good. Okay. Those are my three favorite books. And did you want to talk about your favorite books or are we going to pass Somehow on? Debbie didn't pass that on to me. Yeah. You kind of got into books there for a minute. Yeah. And I, I feel like I'm more into podcasts right now. Yeah. I have to commute an hour to work yeah. every single day, an hour there and an hour back. So I'm starting to get into podcasts, what are your but I think I should start getting into books too. Okay. What are your three favorite, favorite podcasts? My three favorite podcasts are How I Built This, and it goes through like, um, for example, Spanx. Um, Guy Raz from NPR, he interviews the owner of Spanx and how she came oh. to be, and it's fascinating. I'll bet that's interesting. There's like tons of amazing companies that he interviewed, like Zappos. They did the CEO of Zappos, and it's crazy how they all started out. Okay, and another, we listened to a podcast about the guy that was in prison. That oh, was, yeah, Serial. That was excellent. It's very That good. was very and interesting. And then um, I also love, wait, wait, don't tell me. Yeah, love it. And a few others about, like, serial killers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Our music, we love all kinds of music, okay? But we do love... Like, what's our favorite music? Ah, uh, yeah, that's a tough one. Because we love the... I mean... If you want to give us a good score to a movie like, oh, like, oh my gosh, like for example, the the one that we just saw that with um, uh, the <laughs> what is it? Um, uh, the I saw Barnum and Bailey. The Barnum. <gasps> uh, you know, oh, The Greatest Showman. The Greatest Showman. We we just bawled. We bawled at the end. It's so <laughs> moving. The music is so moving yeah. to us. So we we love we love. Uh, uh, who's the Han, Hans Zimmer? We love Hans Zimmer. That does, but he does scores for movies. In and fact, just... I wa I tried watching the one that just was in the won all the Academy Awards. Uh, uh, the 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 Dunkirk. The one? darkest. Oh, Dunkirk. Yeah, because they said it was. I like... couldn't even watch 
like 20 minutes of it. It was so insane. They said that it was much like the the the, the, the music, music was like a third character in yeah. the story, and that it totally and it was it. and it was horrible, and I couldn't watch the whole thing. It was thing. too too hard. It's too hard. But we also love Michael Jackson. Oh, we do. We just love it. And my husband plays everything from the 70s, so my daughter is familiar. And I my love sons. every 70s music yeah. that's ever existed. Uh, having my baby. Yeah, have Paul Anka. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but oh, Debbie yeah. loves, like, um, Mr. Chow's. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I am uh, uh, acoustic alchemy. Oh. I'm way into some some jazz and we love jazz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Acoustic. I mean, literally, we love everything except for country music. Yeah, we're not big into country, and and but don't know. let that offend you. No, and uh, several times there are some that will come along that, that yeah, we really like. Definitely. So anyway, okay. Uh, the one word that best describes me is probably uh, I'm probably very outgoing. Definitely. <laughs> positive, too, I hope. I hope that people would think of me Always as, positive. I'm very positive. So anyway, what's the one word that describes you? I have you? no idea. <laughs> people, Weird. No, no, no. People would say that you are also very outgoing. Actually, so I just got a new job, and my inner, the guy that I work for now, he asked me, what is the one thing your mom would describe you as? Oh, that's interesting. And I said... You're a go-getter. No. Oh, what did you say? I said that I'm like kind to everyone. You are. You are. You're good. She gets along with everybody. She's a personal assistant. She has to sort of think before the person thinks of it. She's got to think of it. I don't know. It's it, That's a tough question. And, yeah. and he also asked me what's, what you would say my like worst quality is. Oh, interesting. And now I can't, I'm kicking myself. I can't remember what okay. I said. We'll come back to that. We, we talk about those because they're very interesting. Aren't they fascinating? Because Does it make you wonder what your mom would say? Oh, yes. Or you know what she would say. Well, I don't know. But I do have to say one thing about her. And that Chelsea said this about Priscilla and Steph said this about Pam, <laughs> I think, was that I'm really unorganized. Okay? I'm pretty unorganized. And... This girl's room, you couldn't see the floor. Ever, growing up. Never. You could not see the floor. Okay, people? <laughs> now, I'm telling you, if I need anything organized now, boom, she's on it. Why did that change suddenly? I don't know. I don't know if it was your other job that you'd... I don't know. I worked with an organizer in my previous job. Yeah, yeah. And it was fascinating. In fact, I was just listening to a podcast all about organization. Okay. And it was saying about how, like, it really hurts your, like, mental wellness to be unorganized. I know. Thank you. I wanted to read the book about where is it. But I don't think, like, it affects your mental wellness. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, like, Thanks. no, I'm serious. Yeah, like, okay. I think that you thrive in... Like an unorganized yeah. chaos. Yeah, it says, but you know where everything is. Sort of. Yeah, I sort of do. But I feel like for me, it's not like, like for example, I'll be sitting at work and I'll be th like obsessing over a room that isn't clean right now. Oh my gosh, this was not her grand. <laughs> I know. Not at all. I'm telling. It's you. so bizarre. Okay. All right. Anyway. Okay, gotta keep going. Um. Uh. Who inspired you to start your videos? Obviously, Priscilla, Priscilla and, and Chelsea. Chelsea and Pam and Steph. Honestly, Pam and Steph are just. I, are they in Utah? No, they're no. in. Uh, they're back east. Who's I the one that did the? There was another mom and daughter. I don't know their names. No. That did the uh, Utah one, yeah. Store, uh, uh -huh, That did uh, Shepherd's yeah, Bush, Shepherd's you guys. Bush. Yeah, okay. but I don't know their name. Okay. They, they. I just barely started watching them. But Priscilla and Chelsea crack us up, and they're and, Disney lovers as and well. They are. They are, and and it's been fun to Do watch. They go to Disneyland or Disney, Disney World. World. Oh, okay. Yeah, Disney World, and then and then Pam and Steph. Honestly, I just love their their they're so real. And they, uh, they have a great relationship anyway. So they really inspired us to start our floss tube. Yeah. Okay. Then it asks about our favorite food. So, okay. What's your favorite food? Okay. So I'm just going to tell you right now and, and we'll talk about it more, but I've just lost 50 pounds. So any food is my favorite food. <laughs> you name it. I haven't eaten a lot of bread in the last year. And if you give me a bread, a, a, a bread, if you give me a roll, like a hot roll, it's or like, a, it's heaven. like angels. I, I'm telling you, it's so good. <laughs> so like a hot cinnamon roll or something sounds really good to me. But but I'm happy with what I'm doing. And I'm... She's done amazing. I It's a big deal. And I if you're interested, we can talk. But anyway, at 59, I didn't think I'd ever be able to do it. But I've done it. And I 
feel great. And, and she a, looks amazing. It's a great program. She weighs less than me. No, that's not true. She does. But I, but I love... Like, 15 pounds no, less than no. me. But I have to tell you honestly that, so a lot of food right now sounds really good. So I should say, what is your, I'm, I'm curious what you're going to say. Macaroni and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Eggs. My favorite food. It's a toss up between uh, tikka masala. Ooh. Indian food. Oh. Okay. Or. Chinese food. Yeah, that's a good one too. Yeah. But like favorite food is definitely a potato in any form. Oh, that's true. That's French true. fry, baked, yeah. mashed. Yeah, yeah. That's a Anything. very true statement. Potatoes. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Those are the questions. Uh, I do. I am a librarian. I think I skipped over that one. Oh, yeah. And I'm a personal assistant. Personal assistant. So there you go. So if we have other questions, put them in the, in the comments and we'll answer them next week. The next thing we wanted to show you is just a few little crafts that I have done. So I'm just going to show you. I like to make banners for each holiday. So I just finished this one. And uh, the, the paper is Echo Park. It's called Echo Park uh, Hello Easter. And so they have- Should it come in a kit? No. It came with all of these on a 12 by 12 oh, piece of cutouts. Okay. Yeah. And then I cut them out and then they also have, it's a grouping and they also had some sticky, uh, some cute stickers like this one okay. is a sticker. And I made that one up with another sticker and added some things. And I love this. Um, yeah, isn't that cute? That ribbon. Oh, it's like it's, it's wired. Yeah, it's got a little wire it's in it. It's really cute. Anyway, big shout out to Mom and Me Scrapbooking in Salt Lake City. They're uh, the best. They, are, they inspired me to make these almost every season. So that is, uh, this is our Easter banner. Totally. Okay? So I wanted to show you that. And then we wanted to do a shout out. We, do, we have done a couple of these before. But this is our uh, monthly shadow box. Yeah. And it turned um, out really cute this year. I think it's really this cute month. this month. This is from Foundations Decor, but also purchased through Mom and Me Scrapbooking in Salt Lake City. They, Foundations Decor does all of the wood, but Mom and Me will provide you with all of these little papers. So that all you have to do is cut it out and put it on. And they're and, magnetic, so they just plop out. So what's nice about it is every month we make a new one, and then we just put these in like a Ziploc. And, and then, store them for the next year. And you've already got your frame. So it's been a really fun thing. I don't yes. know what we'll do when we're all done with all 12 months. But anyway, so we started in July, I think. Yeah. So anyway, it's turned out really cute. Foundations to court, mom and me scrapbooking. Love it. Those were the two uh, uh, I wanted to shout out about crafts that I have done this month. Okay, previous finish, right? So I'm just gonna do some previous finishes that I got, that I did years and years ago. This is oh a- Oh my heck, these are the cutest things I've ever seen in my life. These, this is a uh, Shepherd's Bush. Many years ago, they did a whole set of hearts for every month. And it is, it's got beads on it. It is just such a cute, all of the months were darling. And so this is my Easter one. Actually, the only Easter is this the I same as the other, the yes, uh, what's it called? The uh, the one that uh, we did for St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. yeah, yeah, which was a really fun one as well. This and is cute. I love the colors. Then one time, I believe, I mean, this is years ago. This is before you were born, I think. Um, they gave out free patterns for these darling eggs. You might want to show that them close. That is so cute. And I had a third one, and I don't know what's happened to it, but these are darling. They are so cute. And then I finished them myself just on a uh, foam egg with uh, some lace and some fabric. Um, I'm not a finisher like Priscilla, but I do, I do, I have done a couple. But this is, I love these eggs. They are like, they... I, I love them. They've brought me a lot of joy. Okay, oh, so those, those are stuff. previous finishes, all right? All right, I love it. And then we're going to talk about really fast some works in progress. And um, Priscilla and Chelsea did a stitch along with this one. This is Country Cottage Needleworks Forest Snowfall. And I kind of got sick of winter. But um, that's as far as I am. I will continue. I really like it. I just was tired of winter. And so um, that's as far as I am with Forest Snowfall. You'll like start it again in the fall. 
Yeah, or, 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 or now, just every now and then Got again, it. I'll pick it up. And so that is this one, Country Cottage Needleworks. Got it. Okay. And then I started, oh, I actually started another one, but I didn't bring it down. But then I started this one, you guys, a Country Cottage Needleworks. It's, um, what happened to it? It is right here. It is a, the monthly, and it's month, July. I started it early so that I would get it done before July. Is so, Chelsea and Priscilla doing it? Or you no, just found it? No, I just did it. It's just one of my works in progress. And I have another work in progress. I'll show it next week. Anyway, this one has been really fun and worked up really fast. And I don't have a lot for July, so I kind of wanted to get going on that one. Cool. So those are my works in progress. My haul. Okay. You went wild. Well, I'm really concerned, as everybody is in the floss tube world, that Lizzie Kate is going to leave us. Well, she is leaving us. And we're not going to get her stuff. So I went to my local LNS, which I, where I have right here. I have two, I'm lucky, I have two LNSs. Um, and one is called Craft Center. And it what is in. What does LNS mean? Your local store. Isn't that cool? That's so cool. So, so the local store that I tend to go to is in Salt Lake because I'm sort of south, southern oriented. I do all my, my, my uh, errands kind of south. Yeah. And they have a wonderful store, cool, great ladies, um, and it's called Craft Center. Then if I want to go north, I can go to the amazing Shepherd's Bush, which uh, you all know, you all love. I've done a lot of Shepherd's Bush in the past, and um, oh my gosh, the store is so inspiring. But the Craft Center store is inspiring too. You've been there. It's amazing. It is amazing. It so, makes me feel like I could do anything. So yeah, and so I'm, I'm lucky. So I went to the craft center the other day and got, I was just so nervous about Lizzie Kate. So I got nutcracker sleds. Do you want to show that? One? A, anyway, this is these darling, I'm a nutcracker. Uh, I, we collect nutcrackers. That is cute. And then you finish them and put them on sleds, Kath. <gasps> They're so cute. Oh, that is cute. Yeah, and I bought the sleds because I wanted to make sure I had those. Okay. And then I have the buzzy string for summer, I believe. What is buzzy? Oh, is it like the alphabet? Yeah, so it's like for summer, it's like all the things that have to do with summer. Oh, so it's cute. like the ABCs, right? Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know, I really want these someday, so I'm buying them now. And the buzzy string for spring. Oh, that's cute. There's a glare. And then I got really nervous and was very concerned to get Christmas rules. Oh, and so luckily, which is really cute. They were able to get it for me, so I'm really lucky to get Christmas rules. So I feel lucky to get it. So those are the things that I was able to get this week, and then also sent away for. I think I think I sent away for it from Down Sunshine Lane. I and I'm not a farm girl, Priscilla and Chelsea. I'm She's not, not a farm girl. I'm not a farm girl, but this is what is it. Darling, chalk on the farm. Oh, that is cute. Isn't that cute? So I sent away for that one, and they also kitted up my my uh, oh, thread. Oh, they gave you the thread. Yeah. We're back. We had to change cameras because my SD card is full. Fail. I'm so sorry. So we showed you. Oh yeah. So let's show them this one. Fresh Eggs Farms, which I'm really excited. And I've seen a lot of people who have finished this, and it's so fun. And uh, I'm excited to. Like I said, I'm not a farm person, but this is really cute. Okay. The last thing that I wanted to show you, and you'll all laugh at me, is this cute little VW camper van. So my husband grew up in Northern California, and he, um, they had, they went through two VW camper vans in addition to several other VWs. I had a friend of mine make this wooden one, and then we put the picture. It's for a, it's for a picture. But anyway, we thought, hope they don't watch it. And, and not see this, but yeah. we're gonna, I'm gonna make these as Christmas ornaments for his two brothers for Christmas this year because they literally, both of them were orange VW buses. So I found this in the UK, you guys. It came from a place called Mouse Loft. And I was looking through and I was like, I've gotta have this. How'd you this. find it, just online? Yeah, and I don't know if I, if I Googled uh, a VW cross stitch or what I did, but anyway. Found it. So it's they're cute. just a little hoo-ha, but I'm going to make them for Christmas ornaments, two of them. Super cute. That is my haul for this week. And um, I, uh, I, uh, Priscilla and Chelsea are doing a new um, a stitch along. It's a, uh, uh, it's a, 
Country Cottage, Cottage Needleworks, it's Bless Our Home. Do they only do Country Cottage Needlework? No, no, they do tons of others. I feel like that's the only ones you Oh, use, no, though. she, 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 they, they're, they're sort of simple and straightforward. I uh, think that's why they do them. But they do lots of other, they, they cross-stitch a million other things. Uh, but anyway, um, it's Bless Our Home, and if you want to tag it on Instagram or Facebook, it's PC Bless Our Home. And Down Sunshine Lane, which is an LNS store, uh, online, they are giving a discount. Priscilla and Chelsea said, if you want to purchase it from them, you can purchase it with the floss colors that Priscilla is going to stitch it with, or the colors that Country Cottage Needleworks. That's works. cute. Yeah, yeah. So, um, if you want to look into that, I'm definitely going to get it. Um, I just need to uh, uh, go online. I haven't had a chance yet, but I'm definitely going to get it and stitch along with them. It's fun because we can't all get together like they said, but it's fun to have a community where we feel like we're kind of all doing something yeah, together. Yeah, that's really fun. So that's fun. Someday, later on, I can be like Pam and Steph and go to, maybe this summer, maybe this summer I can go I over think that's such a good idea. to country. Uh, uh, when my boss is in traveling, I'll just come with you. Okay, and, and, and stitch with the friends at the store, right? But right now, I can't. I'm at work during the day. But this summer, I could. And so. we want to go on like a tour through Shepherd's Bush. Oh, and, and definitely. Bring you guys along. Yes, take you through Shepherd's Bush. Such an amazing place. They are amazing girls. Oh, my gosh. I've known them forever, and they, they are truly talented women. So anyway, I've done a lot of Shepherd's Bush. I've done some, uh, my favorite one is a Halloween one that I did. D isn't it a fun one? The yeah, one? it is yeah. a really fun one. So anyway, so I'll show you those later, but, and we'll definitely go there. And um, we hope that you liked our floss yeah. too. This is about all we have for this week. Yep. And we didn't want to make it too long so you didn't get sick of us no. already. That you'll come back and watch again. You better subscribe to this channel. Yeah, absolutely. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And please comment um, anything you'd like. Let us know where you're from. Yes, we'd love that. And um, we will uh, hopefully be, uh, next week, we'll yeah. do another one and get it online. Who knows? Who knows what will happen? But thanks to all the other floss tubers out there that have really inspired me. I appreciate it. It's honestly, I look forward to your floss tubes every week. Yes, she does. So I, I watch them and I, anyway, I just get a big kick out of it. So I hope you guys enjoy us. Yes, have a happy Easter. Have a happy hopefully Easter. Hopefully it's not snowing where you are like it is here. Yeah, hopefully next week it won't be. Um, but we, 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 uh, we like you guys, we love you guys, and we will see you next week. See Bye. Ya.